Greetings, people of the internet. I am Lucha Man, and welcome to Lucha Man Reviews. On today's episode, I'm reviewing two shows, and I'm doing a follow-up review to one I did uh, about a year or so ago, a little over, a little almost two years ago. Um, let's get right into it. Starting with Toonami's newest show, The Promised Neverland. Now, I try to wait a couple of episodes, and it's a good thing I did because. Now, all three of the shows that I'm going to be reviewing have connecting similar themes. And in The Promised Neverland, it starts out in an orphanage where all the children wear fancy white uniforms and everyone is happy and joyous until one day one of the children gets adopted and the two, two of the oldest children, they discover something uh, sinister about the orphanage. Something distressing, which causes doubt. And something demonic, as it would be. So, the, the story is about uh, the three oldest children, Ray, Emma, and Norman. These three are the best, the brightest, and the oldest, and they're, after hearing, after discovering what horrible secrets about the uh, orphanage is, they decide we need to come up with a plan to escape. So now, as the episodes are going on, we see the children, they're trying to figure out how do we plan the escape? What obstacles do we have to deal with? How do we avoid detection or capture? So it's interesting. Um, so yeah, the the majority of the cat, the majority of uh, the characters, they're all like under twelve years old. So that's interesting. There's not like anything over the top in like violence or action or craziness, and there's no foul language so far. So it's an interesting change of pace from some of the other shows that's usually on the tsunami lineup. So yeah, my, so I'm trying to figure out, okay, is the first season just going to be the whole planning and strategy and training, and then the second season, or end of, this, end of the first season, start of the second season, going to involve the actual escape and trying to be on the run, and then what, what's going to be the third season? Trying to take down the nefarious powers that be, and or seeing if there's any other places to try to stop them from doing something similar? I don't know, but I saw this show, I gave it a shot, and it's really interesting. You should definitely give it a try. I think by the time this review gets up, uh, the fourth episode will soon be airing, so give it a shot. So, I give The Promised Neverland a 9.5 out of 10. It's good, it's entertaining, it's suspenseful, it's a little dark and creepy in some areas, but yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, uh, speaking of dark, creepy, and demonic, the next show that I'm reviewing is called Gary and His Demons. Uh, I discovered it, it's on airing on the Sci-Fi Network. Now, originally it was on the website VRV, but uh, so you either have to be a member to watch that, or you have to hopefully have a, a DVR or on demand to be able to watch the past episodes. What is Gary and His Demons? It stars Gary, a guy who was deemed as a teenager to be the chosen one. And now we see what happens when you are the chosen one, and you've been doing it for 30 odd years, so Gary's in his late 40s, early 50s, and he's, uh, you know, pretty much disenchanted by the whole job. It's like, oh, cool, you get to do this, but now it's a job, 9 to 5, punch card, suit, wear a suit and tie, uh, fill out forms. Oh yeah, this uh, demon was a tag. Yeah, so it's like, if I was to describe this show, it's like Rick and Morty, but only without, without uh, Morty as a teenager, and instead of super science, it's all magic and monsters. Yeah, so Gary, he almost even sounds like Rick. Uh, the voice is not quite there, but it's within the same realm of disdain and annoyance and adult who's sick with doing what he's doing. It's pretty funny. Um, it's definitely not made for the kids, though. It's, there's the full, the swearing is full-blown, uncensored. Yeah, so please watch uh, professionally. And also, the animation quality is nothing of, like, high standard, right home to mom about. Yeah, the animation and the backgrounds, it's like, they, it needs a little work, but hey, it's its convenient the entertainment, so it gets the message across. It's not bad, it just needs a little more work, but I like it still. So I give Gary and His Demons a 7 and 3 quarters, or 7.75, out of 10. Yeah. And now the final show, it's a show I've already reviewed. This show aired back on its pilot, it, it aired its pilot November 1st of 2017. It's called Victor and Valentino. It's like uh, Gravity Falls meets regular show, but uh, okay, so I'm not going to do a full full review of this because I've already reviewed it. 
I think it's a good show. The only problem is I look at Victor and whenever he says or does something, I always think to myself, oh, hello, Rigby. Yeah, it's basically humanized regular show. So, uh, so while uh, Victor is the annoying Rigby in full blown er in full in full blown human form, it's still the show is good. I liked it. They've made some changes since uh, the pilot episode. The it still takes place in Monte Macabre, but instead of Monte Macabre, but instead of being like a town in the middle, middle of the desert of nowhere, it has this like a like a, a ocean miniature islands all grouped together sort of thing. It's pretty awesome. Now here's the thing. They haven't done the maze thing from the pilot, which I talk about, but it's weird. They have a very key figure from the pilot who the characters Victor and Valentino interact with, like they've known before, met before, so it's like, okay, so we're in some weird time-space warp thing, where apparently, even though the pilot, I guess, semi-didn't happen, or it did, it's, it's weird. It's like, the show is good, the animation is... It's, uh, see, it's like almost regular show-ish, but it's like regular show or Adventure Time, it's not... Uh, it's a good show, but like I said, the whole regular show thing is just in there, and like it's weird how some of the stuff from the previous show did, from the from the pilot did cross over, and some stuff didn't. It's... Uh, it's good. I still give it a 7 out of 10. Definitely worth a watch. Yeah, so who knows, maybe we'll get more backstories, like in, if it gets another season? I mean, because I mean, come on, like, oh, why would we hang out with those guys? They're arch nemeses. They're arch enemies. Yeah, so what do we do? We hear about these arch enemies, like in, I don't know, the first or second episode? What, what, what did they do? What do? They weren't in the pilot, and we clearly didn't see something before this, so... Alright, so that's the three shows we have for on this episode, so yeah. So like I said, uh, watch, watch Victor and Valentino. It's good. Watch Rigary and his demons. It's a, it's funny. Watch The Promised Neverland. Thriller, suspenseful, a little dark and creepy, but still really good, really enjoyable. All right, well that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Lucha Man for Lucha Man Reviews saying thank you for watching and as always, have a nice day.